Welcome journalists. Here we are at what has become kind of sadly my nature journaling site. And today I have a little treat for you. Uh, first, an introduction to those pencils that I asked you to get at the very beginning. Today we're going to be messing around with them a little bit and uh, we're going to be starting with the 4H pencil. So H is hard and the harder the pencil, the lighter the line. 4H is going to be your lightest pencil, finest line, and the uh, 4B or 2B, whichever one you ended up getting, is going to be the darkest and heaviest line. So <clears throat> we're here because some of my friends are here, and I'm going to introduce you to my animal friends right now. As you know, this session is about things that move, so mammals and birds. And I happen to have some mammals that I think will be cooperative. So we have old Chub and Pumpkin and Curly. And I hope they're going to come out right now and we'll do practice a few techniques for capturing animals on the move. Come on out, guys. Come on out. So one of the things we're going to practice here with these subjects that are always on the move is something called a gesture drawing. And it's just like what it sounds like. It captures the, the gesture and the essence of the creature very quickly and very loosely. And that's why you're supposed to be using your very lightest pencil, the 4H. But as we discovered earlier, the 4H doesn't really show up too well on this paper. I'll demonstrate. We have a little model over here in the beaver house right now having a drink. What I'm going to do first is try and capture a line that shows the general movement of the animal. In this case, the beaver is drinking and the spine and neck are often a great line to just get down. But don't commit to any one line, just short, quick lines. So that's with the 4-H pencil and it's very hard to see. So I'm going to do it now with my darkest pencil, much easier to see and just short, quick lines. And if in a gesture drawing, the subject moves. You just abandon the sketch right where it is and move with it. And in this case, I'm just trying to get the basic shapes in. Oh, there's a nice big foot right there. Um, interesting how the hind foot comes all the way right up to where the front foot is as little pumpkin is drinking from his pool and the tail. And now he's being so cooperative that I can try and see where some of the features are. It's pretty dark in there, but that foot, is that great big beaver webbed foot. So there's a gesture. And if the subject is very cooperative, you can start to make those lines more solid. This is a very cooperative subject. Beavers will drink for a long time. Little shadows underneath to show the form. And here's underneath the, the belly there. Well done, pumpkin. A gesture sketch. Are you coming out for another biscuit? Are you a good beaver? Yes. Are you a good beaver? 